Imagine a machine that could run forever, requiring no fuel, no extra energy. Sounds like a game changer, right? But why, despite centuries of attempts, has no one, not even Leonardo da Vinci, been able to make such a machine work? In today's video, we'll uncover the history of perpetual motion machines, what makes them impossible, and why they've fascinated humanity for so long. Can science ever crack the code? Let's explore. Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Welcome to Not So Techie, where we break down complex science and tech into bite-sized, easy-to-digest pieces. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of perpetual motion machines, why people have spent centuries trying to make them, and the physics behind their failure. But before we get started, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more deep dives into science and tech. The Timeless Pursuit of Perpetual Motion Machines Since humans discovered energy, we've been fascinated by the concept of a machine that could run forever. But why exactly have so many people, from ancient mathematicians to da Vinci himself, chased this seemingly impossible dream? First, let's see what is a perpetual motion machine. Perpetual motion machines are devices that, once started, could theoretically run forever without the need for any additional energy. While this sounds like a dream come true, history has proven it's much more complicated. Why do you think people, even centuries ago, were so drawn to the idea of perpetual motion? What do you think their motivation was? Since the 7th century, starting with the Indian mathematician Brahmagupta, various inventors, including Villard de Honcourt, have created different designs, such as overbalanced wheels and weight mechanisms. As highlighted by Google Arts and Culture, the mathematician Brahmagupta sought to represent the cyclical and eternal motion of the heavens through the invention of an overbalanced wheel. This innovative device spun due to the movement of mercury inside its hollow spokes. Another early example of such a device is the Perpetuum Mobile, created by Villard de Honcourt. This mechanism, suggested between 1225 and 1235, was intended to keep a wheel in motion by adding weights to it. Villard noted, for a long time, the experts have been debating ways to make the wheel turn autonomously. But despite all this effort, the same conclusion always arises. Something always gets in the way. The physics behind the problem. So, why don't perpetual motion machines work? The answer lies in physics, the first and second laws of thermodynamics, to be precise. Thermodynamics laws are the principles in physics that explain how various forms of energy interact. The first law says energy cannot be created or destroyed. You can only transform it. So, even in the best case scenario, a perpetual motion machine could never produce more energy than what you put in. What do you think is the most significant energy loss in machines? Heat, sound, or friction? And then there's the second law, which essentially says that energy disperses over time. That's why, in reality, no machine can run indefinitely. Energy will always be lost through heat and friction, even in the most perfect system. Attempts through history, and why they failed. Throughout history, we see countless examples of inventors trying and failing to build a perpetual motion machine. From Brahmagupta's rotating wheel to Leonardo da Vinci's sketches, the dream persisted. Leonardo's notebooks had different wheel designs, including a modified spinning wheel with weights. Although the wheel was ineffective, and it seems he never expected it to work, the design has become the most popular perpetual motion machine on DIY and 3D printing platforms. But Leonardo, in particular, was skeptical. He even reportedly mocked inventors chasing the idea, comparing their efforts to the futility of alchemy. So, is perpetual motion completely impossible? It seems so, but that hasn't stopped people from trying. Recently, there have been claims about a mysterious device by David Jones that is said to have been running for years. A notable instance of a perpetual motion machine can be found at the Royal Society, created by scientist David Jones using the alias Deadless. The wheel has been in motion for many years, although it does need some unspecified adjustments from time to time. The device, created for enjoyment by Jones, does indeed break the laws of physics. There seems to be a hidden mechanism in the wheel spokes or the pipes and boxes beneath that provides extra energy to keep the wheel turning. Nonetheless, the actual technique remains confidential and will not be disclosed for 30 years. Many have attempted to uncover the secret mechanisms behind Deadless's perpetual motion machines but have not succeeded. What do you think? Could a hidden mechanism still be running some of these perpetual machines today? The modern verdict. Science versus wishful thinking. In the end, perpetual motion machines contradict the very laws of physics. 
Patent offices have stopped accepting applications for these inventions, and scientists generally agree that the idea is impossible in our physical world. But that doesn't mean we haven't learned something. The pursuit of these machines has pushed innovation in other areas of science and technology. And while perpetual motion remains a fantasy, studying it helps us understand more about how energy really works. So, will we ever see a true perpetual motion machine? For now, it seems the answer is no, at least in our physical reality. But that doesn't mean the quest has been in vain. The lessons learned have shaped how we think about energy and innovation today. As we move forward, new discoveries in quantum physics or other emerging fields might one day challenge what we think we know. Who knows? Maybe the impossible will become possible in ways we can't yet imagine. Thanks for watching. If you learned something new, give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment below on what you think the future of energy looks like. And don't forget to subscribe to Not So Techie for more exciting explorations into the world of science and technology.